Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Aussie from FlamelineVisualEffects.com, and welcome to my another After Effects tutorial. Today we are create a very exciting tutorial. So let's see what we will create today. Wow, it's look really awesome. In this tutorial, I am using third party plugin called Trapcode Particular. If you don't have the plugin, you can download the free trial version from link in the description below. One more thing, if you want more tutorials like this one, so please subscribe my channel, hit the red subscribe button. Okay, now let's get started. First create a new composition, go to composition new composition and let's call this emitter and set it 19 20 10 and frame rate 29.97 and duration make it 15 seconds then click on ok ok now go to project window then right click and import and click on file then choose project file and select all the files and click on import you can download this project file from link in the description now select the mat file and drag it into your timeline then select the layer and right click and choose pre-compose select move all the attributes and rename it to mat then click on ok now select the layer and press ctrl plus d to duplicate the layer and select the first layer and drag it forward something like this Ok now select the first layer and go to effect and preset window and search for invert. Then select the effect and apply onto our first layer. Then select the second layer and change the track mat to luma mat. If you don't see the track mat button simply press F4 or click here. And then change the track mat to luma mat. Now select both layers and right click and choose pre-compose and select move all the attributes and rename it to final mat then click on ok. Now go to project window and import your logo for this right click import file then choose your logo then click on import. You can always use text if you want the process is the same for both text and logos. Now select the logo and drag it into your timeline. Then select the logo and right click and choose pre-compose. Select move all the attributes and rename it to logo. Then click on ok. Now select the layer and drag it below. And change the track mat to luma mat. Now we are create main part of this tutorial. Now we are create particles. So create a new composition. Now go to composition, new composition and let's call this particles comp. Then click on ok. Now go to project window and select emitter comp and drag it into your timeline. And make it 3D layer just click on this box now right click new and click on solid make it black and let's call this particle then click on ok ok now select the particle layer and go to effect then drop code and click on particular then uh, emitter type set it layer and particle per second set it 1000000 and velocity set it uh, 0 and go to layer emitter and layer set it emitter then go to emission extras and periodicity rate set it 100 then go to particles and particles life per second set it 1.3 size make it 4 and 
size of our life uh, choose second preset then go to opposite of our life and click on preset and choose second preset now go to shading and shadow it from main turn on and shadow it from aux turn on okay now go to physics and physics time factor set it 1.1 then go to air and wind x set it 100 and wind y set it minus 50 then go to turbulence field and effect position set it 100 field in time set it 0 0.1 and scale make it 6 and move with wind set it 200 then go to aux system and image set it uh, continuously and particle per second set it 5 and life per second set it 2 and size make it 1 and color from main set it 100 then go to physics sorry go to size over life and choose second preset and uh, go to opacity over life and click on preset and choose second preset then go to physics then wind effect set it 100 and turbulence position set it 200 okay let's uh, ramp view this and change the quality to half then press 0 to ramp review wow it's look good to me okay now change the quality to full then select the particle layer and press ctrl plus d to duplicate the layer then select the duplicate layer and go to particles then change the amount of size make it 2 then go to aux system then uh, light set it 0 0.5 and size set it 2 then go to physics then wind effect set it to 150 and turbulence position set it 250 again select the layer and press ctrl plus d then select the duplicate layer and go to physics then air then turbulence field and scale set it 6.5 Okay, now, uh, now go to aux system and life set it 3 and size set it 1. Okay, again select the particle layer and press ctrl plus D to duplicate the layer. Then select the duplicate layer and go to particles then size set it 4. Okay, now go to physics and then here then open turbulence field and size set it 7 okay now go to arc system then life set it 2 okay our particle animation is complete uh, change the quality to half and press 0 to ramp preview Wow, it's look great. Okay, now go to project window and select uh, matte comp and drag it into your timeline. 
then go to project window and select logo comp and drag it into your timeline and put it below the matte layer and change the track mat to luma mat and select last two layers and drag it something like this okay let's change the quality to full now right click new and create a new adjustment layer then select the adjustment layer and go to effect blur and sharpen then choose sharpen and change the amount to 20 again go to effect color correction and choose curves and adjust the rgb curves just a little bit now create a another new composition go to composition new composition and rename it to main comp then click on ok now go to project window and select uh, dust smoke footage and drag it into your timeline then select particles comp and drag it into your timeline and put it above the dust smoke layer and press S and make it small little bit then select particles footage and drag it into your timeline and put it above the particles comp layer and change the layer mode to add now select the particles comp layer and go to effect and preset window and search for cc burn film select the effect and apply onto our particles comp layer and let's change the quality to half then go to around 9 seconds then set a keyframe on burn and then go forward few seconds then change the burn amount to 80 then select particles comp layer and press S and select two keyframes and press F9 to easy is the keyframes okay now go to beginning of the animation and select the particles comp layer and press S and set a keyframe on scale then go to end of the animation and make it a little bit smaller maybe 80 okay now right click new solid and uh, make it black and rename it to mask then click on ok now select the mask layer and go to toolbar and select rectangle tool then turn on title then create a mask and change the mask mode to subtract then turn off the title now select the particles comp layer and press down arrow key to make it center just a little bit okay perfect let's change the quality to full and our animation is complete press 0 to ramp preview Thank you very much for watching this tutorial if you like this tutorial please subscribe my channel it's totally free and don't forget to like and share it thank you have a great day